Have you ever wondered how you can use the law of attraction to manifest something instantly? You can do it. It can work. And today I'm going to give you some tips that will help you use the law of attraction to manifest something instantly. Hey, I'm Mark Nelson, a former high school teacher and a lifestyle entrepreneur and a business coach. And I've used the law of attraction to manifest things all my life. I'm coming to you from inside my RV. We manifested that. We use the law of attraction to buy an RV. We live on a lake. It's just unstinking believable. I'm about 30 feet away. I go swimming every day. That came from us using the law of attraction. Hey, if this is the first time to my channel, please subscribe, hit that notification button, and leave some comments. So today what we're going to do is talk about how to use the law of attraction to manifest instantly. Now I'm going to talk about some things that it might seem kind of backwards, but um, I was taught this by a very good friend and my current coach. Right? I, I, I hired him as a coach to get me over to the next step. And to tell you the truth, we kind of went backwards, I felt. Because all of a sudden he started talking about mindset and kept asking me why I wasn't successful, what I thought about myself. And you know what he had me do was think about all the things, the negative thoughts that held me back. And holy crap, I had a lot of them. I really did. One was that I, I didn't think I was good enough. And I've told this story before. It came from, you know, when I was younger kids, I used to be picked on all the time because I always had these big dreams. I was going to be this NBA player. And guess what? I wasn't. But I played college basketball. I got close. But I always had this thought that I'm not good enough. I started a business. I'm going, how the heck am I going to do this? I'm not good enough. I'm not smart enough. So what he did, he had me get all those thoughts out of there. Write them down. So I want you to write them down. What thoughts are keeping you from achieving your dreams? Because here's what happens. If you think negative, when I kept thinking, you know, I start something and all of a sudden I go, oh, I'm not good enough. See, that's conflicting energies because I get excited about my future, where I'm going, what I'm going to do. So what I did, what he taught me to do was we were going to pick one thing that I want to manifest on. One thing I wanted to work on. And I wanted to keep, then he, we went back and started thinking about what is holding me back from getting that thing. And I got it all out. And we, we went through what's called an anchoring drill. Meaning, whatever that negative thought is, what I do is I hold my middle finger and my thumb finger together. And I squeeze. And every, I close my eyes. Every time I do that, I get this feeling of power. Because that's what he anchored me to. When I did that, he had me think of the time I was the most successful in my life. It just takes all those negative thoughts away, puts me in the positive area that I need to be. So people do a lot of things. Some people clap their hands, stomp their feet, some jump up and down. But the th thing is, when you see that energy, you have to get that out of there. You have to get those thoughts out of there so you can manifest anything you want. Now, so here's what you're going to do. Seriously, let's say you want to manifest one thing, and I'm not going to put any thoughts in your head. You write down all negative thoughts. You work on a way to get all that energy down. Now you're going to manifest something. So I want you to, this is another anchoring thing, put your hand over your heart, smile, snap your fingers. Feeling that is done. It's yours. And snap your fingers one more time and say, it's done and it's mine. See, you just did it. You just manifested that feeling. Now I know I'm going to get people saying, well, it didn't happen. You know, I didn't buy my RV overnight. It took me a long time to find my wife. Not that long, but... <laughs> but see, when I made the decision that it happened, 
time doesn't matter. It was just going to happen. So if you're always just worried about time, you just got to keep thinking, well, hey, it's going to happen. That's all you think about. It's going to happen. So there you have it. How you can manifest something really simple. Let me rephrase all this. Find one thing to manifest. One thing to manifest. And then think about all the negative thoughts that come up when you think about that. Anchor. Get those thoughts out. Clap. Jump out. Bring that energy back. Think about that one thing. And then smile. Put your hand over your heart. Put that energy in that it's done. Snap your fingers and it's done. You've manifested that in an instant. And it totally believe that it's going to happen. And it will happen. So there you have it. Manifest whatever you want and do it today.